<laughs> this is just one. Just one of four of these. And then some. It's just gonna be a long video, guys. Buckle up. <laughs> What's up? What's poppin'? What's crack -lackin'? Hope you're all doing amazing. I have a gigantic, like, insane book haul for you guys today. I have an obscene amount of books for you today, and, it, like, I have an excuse because this is all the books I've collected, like, over Christmas, so, like, gifts that I got, plus my birthday, because my birthday was January 9th, so I got some birthday money. Christmas rolled around and I just went ham on the books. <laughs> so I wanted to share it with y'all today. Hope maybe you can get some good recommendations out of this or I don't know, maybe it'll be a nudge to get a book you have been wanting for a while. So we'll see about that. But um, yeah, this is a long one. So I'm just, gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna get straight into it. I have four huge piles of books like surrounding me right now and I have to get into those or we will be here for a while. I think it's like 40 books, like a little over 40, like 45 or something. So uh, buckle up because we're gonna be here for at least 45 minutes. So let's go. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna grab like what's on top of the piles I'm not gonna go in any specific order or like category the first book we got is black sunday by tochanya buche i read this for diverse author of the month last month january yes january so go watch that video if you want to know more about this book um it's basically like um kind of like a coming of age novel about two sisters and their lives so yeah, that's that. Then I got the selection, <laughs> just the selection hardcover. I read the selection when I was like 13, I think. Um, and I, I remember really loving it. I never reread it. Like back then I read it like a ton. I think I read it like five or like six times. But that was all like within the same year. I didn't have that many books. I would read the same books over and over. I, then I didn't read them again, but I held on to them and like I sold them when I was moving two years ago or something. So I wanted to reread them again. So I just picked up the first part because just in case I hate it, I didn't want to commit to the entire set hardcover. That's a lot of money. So I just got the first one and um, I hope I'll, I'll enjoy it as much as I did back then, but I don't know, I'm scared. I'm scared. Kayla reread the selection last year and she hated it, so now I'm scared that I'll hate it as well. Ooh, a book that I'm super excited about. Seven Devils by, let's see, who is it by? Laura Lamb and Elizabeth May. Um, this is a space opera. Like, this is described, okay, this was described as a feminist space opera. And I love space opera uh, stories, so I was already intrigued. It was on sale. Need I say more? Yeah, I don't know too much about this. It's, which is, by the way, a theme throughout this video. I don't know too much about all of the books because I just read the synopsis and bought them if they sounded interesting. Plus, I just bought books that were on my, like, TBR um, for a while. So, I'll try to, like, <sighs> I'll try to give, like, a short synopsis if I know what I'm talking about. But, yeah. This was described as feminist space opera. Plus, the cover is super, super dope. Um, I'm really excited. Then I got The Shadows Between Us by, who is this by? Trisha Levenseller. I heard that like a lot of people were excited for this and then it kind of just didn't deliver. Like it just left a lot to be desired, but this is like, and I think it's like enemies to lovers. <sighs> the synopsis was something about like a girl who is like 
wants to kill the prince for the crown or something i'm not so sure but it sounded interesting because i love royalty like stories i love enemies to lovers perfect match dare i say um i had high expectations for this but a lot of people just didn't like it as much as they thought they would but going into it positive we'll see next up the midnight library by matt h i don't i don't know how to pronounce this last name it looks weird um yeah midnight library i think we've all heard about this book by now um it's been on my tbr for a little bit small bit um and yeah with all the hype that like kind of surrounded it lately i was like maybe this is a moment for me to get it so i bought it um yeah it's about this girl who goes into this library and it's like filled with books and every book um is basically basically an opportunity like for a different life like every book is how her life could be if she made different choices or if she hadn't done certain things and she has till midnight to decide like what life she would have wanted to live because she's like i don't know she just kind of doesn't like her life and she thinks it could be so much better so she ends up in the midnight library sounds interesting i'm excited then next up we got the all souls Tri all souls trilogy by deborah harkness um yeah this is it it's like a box set my mom got this for me for christmas so i'm excited as hell the covers look listen i look at this this like box and i'm like wow beautiful but then i look at the individual covers and i'm just like Hello. not really it this one is the exact one of the box was like pretty this one also kind of nice this one i think is very ugly but don't judge a book by its cover. Buzzword are wizardry, forbidden love, and fantasy. So I'm soaked. I love fantasy. Also, it's described as like kind kind of like sciency fantasy, which is kind of interesting. It's something I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever heard of too much. I'm kind of excited to see if this is actually as much of like a, this is one of my like five star predictions. So hoping <laughs> I'm correct because. It just looks interesting as hell. So yeah, on to the next. I also got a few mangas. Um, I got the first three volumes of Spy Family. So this is the first volume, second volume, third volume. Stoked. It just sounds like a lot of fun. With mangas, I tend to like get, want to get like at least like two or three volumes because if I really like a manga, I want to like get into it like straight away. So I was like, let me, they, they were on sale. So I was like, let me just get all three of them. Like the first two are on sale. And then the this one just recently came out. So yeah, I'm excited. It's about like a family, <laughs> like a, a fake family of like three spies. One is a telepath, one is an assassin and one is a spy. And um it's just their lives i'm interested i'm hyped it looked like a really fun read the art is amazing need i say more that's everything you want from a manga so excited to get into these asap another manga i got is the promised neverland um just the first volume i heard amazing things about the anime I have not watched the anime yet um, so i decided to just pick up the first volume of the manga and see how I like it. I also got the first volume of Heartstopper because a friend of mine has been like raving about this for ages and he just won't shut up about it. So I was like, you know what? I don't like romance. Maybe if it's like a graphic novel, like a comic or whatever, I'll like it. Plus it's gay. Gay, I love it. I'm here for it. Super excited for this. I'll be reading this next. So yeah, we'll see <laughs> how this fares. I am super excited though, because I don't know, the art is just really beautiful. And I also heard that like a Netflix show or like a movie is coming um, and the casting is gonna be super inclusive and super like, 
I card, so that's really exciting. Um, yeah, excited for this one. Next, I got an old series, an old dystopian. I got the Legend Trilogy. Uh, my mom also got me this one for Christmas. I wanted this for years, dude, years. And I just never committed to it, but my mom got me the entire box set and um, it's time. I am stoked. This is kind of like, um, it's a dystopia and it's kind of like one of those like cast societies. Um, and like, I think our main character is like born into one of the like highest casts and it's just classic dystopian. <laughs> I am interested to see how this, like, um, how this fares being as it's like, what, five years old? Oh my god, five? I was generous. This is 10 years old! Oh my god, this is 10 years old. I'm excited though. I'm hella excited. I think this will give off classic, like, 2012 dystopian vibes, you know? Like, Divergent, Hunger Games, all of those kind of stuff. But, I don't think that's a bad thing. We'll see. Excited. Next, I got finally, finally, I got the last. It's the end, guys. I got the last part in the Shatter Me series. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm so not ready for this to end, for this to end, that in fact, I've not read the part before this yet. So I have like this one, I have Imagine Me and Define Me, the one before this, still to read. So I'll be like binge reading the entire series again this year and yes, I'm so ready. I'm so ready, but I'm not ready. Like I'm ready, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm ready to be in this world again, but I'm so not ready for this world to be taken away from me forever. <sighs> I got the entire um, trilogy of Miss Pettigrew's Home for Peculiar Children because of Jesse, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I was not super interested in this when it first came out, um, but this guy just doesn't stop talking about it. So like I revisited it as in I looked it up again to see like what it was about exactly and if it was something for me. And I was like, okay, this is actually low key interesting. So let me just get it and we'll go from there. So I got that. And this comes with like, 12 like polaroids um and it's like pictures of, of characters i think and like group shot i don't know it's like super cool i think it's like it adds so much like personality or like character to um like the world building and the book and i'm just super excited to get to know these characters in this world so we got that okay next oh you're all seeing this already i got Five, oh, I got five Cloudbound Classics to add to my collection. Very stoked, very stoked. My mom got three of these for me. Let me go one by one. <coughs> the ones my mom got are, oh, Sanditon by Jane Austen. Um, I like Jane Austen's writing. I don't really know what this, so I don't really know what this is about. I just knew I wanted it. It's Jane Austen. I think it'll go well. Um, so yeah, my mom got me Send a 10. She also got me Paradise Lost by John Milton, um, which is, ooh, sticker. Okay, this is the worst part about these Cloudbound books. They, like the imprints, I guess, are like painted on. So they have this sticker, <laughs> they have the sticker on the back. And whenever you take it off, it takes like a bunch of the paint with it. And it just <sighs> painful to see, you know, like I don't want my babies going through that. Anyways, Paradise Lost, which is like about, it's kind of like um, a fictional story about like Adam and Eve and like the paradise being lost and just like that whole thing. So yeah, that too. And she also got me Orlando by Virginia Woolf. So Woolf, never read anything by Woolf. And um, I wanted to get into it. So I just picked one up. The first one that like caught my eye, which was Orlando. So 
Ooh. Ooh. Then I myself got Les Miserables by Victor Hugo and Little Woman. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. So, Little Women, I've read it before. Um, do I actually have a copy? I'm not too sure. I think I have a copy, but uh, yeah. Little Women, I have a copy of it. Got it from my mom. <laughs> and, but I bought the Clawbound version to add to my collection. The thing is, by the way, do you see? Do you see how this doesn't make sense to me? <laughs> Why does this one have like a hundred something pages and it's like so small and this one has like 400 pages or something And then there's this other one. I think it's a puff and bloom version that had like has like 800 pages and I'm just like FOMO like is there stuff in there that I'm not getting? I just need to chill plus the puff and bloom collection like in, in its entirety is so beautiful, but the little women like the cover so pretty i want to buy it just for the looks the next book i bought is a little life by <laughs> hanya Yan yanagihara probably pronouncing it wrong um yeah we all know about this book i don't have anything to say it's apparently just very sad and traumatic and i'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to be reading this because y'all all know if you watch my reading vlogs that i cry like that so i'm scared but i'm I have, I have like big ass FOMO for this book. Everyone read it, I'm missing out. I have to read it, but it will very likely take me a while to actually get into this. I got this because it was on sale for like six euros. Um, so there we are. Next up, I got Three Dark Crowns, which is the first book in I think like a series of four books. Um, so yeah, Three Dark Crown Crowns by Kendara Blake. This is about like um, three sisters. I think they're like triplets, I don't know. They're like equal like heirs to the throne and they're like fighting. I think they're like fighting, even if it fighting for the crown, no matter what it takes, even death. So yes. Again, royalty stuff right up my alley. I'm uh, really interested to be getting into this. I wanted to also purchase these rather quickly because um, they had a cover change and the new covers are ugly, in my opinion. So I want the old ones and I want to get them all before they go out of stock and I have to like have half of the series in the old ones and half in the new ones and it's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> Next up, These Vine Delights by Chloe Gom. The whole entirety of Booktube has been talking about this book as well so I'm pretty sure y'all know the drill. This book is set in 1920s Shanghai and it's like uh kind of like a royalty gang. Like two two competing gangs that like have to work together for the better of like their country or whatever i am not so sure anymore but super excited super interesting yeah i mentioned this in like books i wanted to read before the end of 2020 but then it wasn't available for me to purchase here until like <laughs> mid-january so i picked it up still haven't read it and i'll get into it soon though soon i'm super excited for this one next up we got seven deadly shadows by courtney alamena and valin e vitani i think this is a story about a girl who can see demons i think or spirits one of the one or the other um and i think it was based off of an asian like um, I'll put it on the screen because I forgot what it's called, but it's based off of that and um, I am really interested to be getting into more like Stories like set in Asia or based on like Asian things <laughs> if that makes sense um, Same way I have been with like more uh, black authors or like I'm also really interested in like indigenous Um literature so i've really just been looking for like stuff like that fictional um diverse 
literature. So this is one of those books. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I hope it's good. Next up, I got The Winter's Crying by Marie Ratoski. Listen, <laughs> I read the first part of this series and I really liked it. But then um, I got, like, I, I thought I bought the second one, but then I bought the third one. So I wasn't able to continue reading it. And eventually I forgot about it. Like, I didn't forget about it, but I forgot about it. In a sense, I just never bought the second one. So I bought the second part. Yeah. Now I have the entire series complete. But it's been like two years since I read the first part, so I have to like read that again to like jog my memory. I just remember really liking it. Because again, are we seeing the theme? Royalty aspects, okay? Hyped, excited, love it. Um, yeah, second part in that series. Next up, I got Bell Revolt by Lindsay Miller. Um, I don't know what this book is about. It was on sale for like four bucks. I, it was a hardcover for four euros. Dreams do come true, guys. I, um, I just, the tagline said, don't fear power, let power fear you. And I just think that that's powerful. That's too much power in one sentence. Either way, I was super excited about it because it like it sounded interesting. It was four euros. Was I realistically not gonna buy it? No, no. So, oh right, I remember. Um, this was about this is like about like two people who want to switch lives. One of them wants to be a physician, but she is like poor or something, so she's not allowed to do like those kinds of jobs and then like this other girl wants to be like trained in magic and then they just switched their life so that because the other one is a physician i think but she wants to be trained in magic so they switch life so they can both do what they want to like actually do um yeah i don't know <laughs> vague ass description i'm sorry guys but i'm interested about this i think the cover is not too pretty but we'll give her a pass if she's good Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, I got Sight by Neil Schusterman. Um, yeah, y'all know what this is about. Everyone has read this. Everyone has talked about this. Uh, but to give you a really short synopsis, um, this takes place in a world where like society has conquered all. Like there's no hunger, no illness, whatever. And they've even conquered like death. But they still need population control. So. Uh, people in society get assigned the role of, well, yeah, the person that kills people. A scythe. Wow. They get, <laughs> it's actually the title. They get assigned the role of scythe. Um, and I think the first book is just like them learning the, like, the ropes of being a scythe and all that. So sounded really interesting. Happy to get into this one. Then we got the first part in the Everless duology we got everless um the second part is evermore uh, i have not ordered that because i don't know if i like this i'm really trying to break the habit of buying entire series because that's just who i am so i just bought the first one this one is also like um sort it sort of has a royalty aspect i guess um it's also set in a world where there's kind of like a caste society and the rich control everything and the poor have nothing the rich control everything even time i think so that's why this is like a an hourglass um yeah and the tagline is time is a prison she is the key so this is probably like one of those stories where like there's this girl and she's like poor all her life kind of like a red queen moment you know and then I don't know, something happens and she becomes wildly important in society out of nowhere. And I just enjoy like that kind of rope. So, Everless. Next up, I got two Junji Ito books. I got um, Venus in the Blind Spot and Shiver. Um, these are both collections of like short stories he has. Um, these are like the only other two mangas I got, by the way, so. Yeah, I love Junji Ito, love his work. I grew up on this guy. Amazing. Super excited to have these two like physical copies right now. I grew up reading um, his stories online when I was like 12. Arguably, should anyone be reading Junji Ito at 12? No, but I was also just always into like horror and like kind of like 
irky and gruesome stuff, so I got these. Super excited, love his work. Ooh, we're almost at the end. We got like one stack. I think we got like 10 books left, so hang in there for me, guys. Uh, next up, I got... I got Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Um, also a book that needs no introduction. We all know about it. So I won't talk too long about this one because it's just well known. The hardback has the logo or like whatever that is on it. Excited to get into this one as well. Uh, next up, Burn by Patrick Ness. I read this book in January. I think I gave it four stars, three or four stars. I'm not too sure anymore. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed it. It was kind of weird. I had never read anything by Patrick Ness, so I didn't know like what to expect. My sister gave me gifted. <laughs> I'm talking too fast. My sister gifted me this for my birthday, um, and yeah, it was <laughs> it was interesting. I don't know. It was kind of weird. But it was a fun ride uh, it's kind of about it's about like a world where like dragons exist and um but they're not like friendly with humans like there there's peace between dragons and humans but they're not like entirely on good terms if that makes sense like they don't just walk around amongst each other um but in this world when you're really poor uh you have to hire a, dra a dragon to help out with like farm work so because dragons are cheap they <laughs> cheap labor so this family hires a dragon and um they go on a wild wacky adventure uh, i guess some buzzwords are like the end of the world dragons <laughs> oh also it's gay which i've heard is like a like reoccurring thing in Patrick Ness novels are heard like I hear like they're always gay so if you read Patrick Ness you know but um yeah it's gay so plus points for that um it's just interesting I guess we got that also another buzzword a cult it's a big one it's, it's a big one <laughs> next up I have Girls Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bachardu um yeah, this one I got because it really reminded me of Shatter Me. Uh, the premise said something about like a girl who is unable to like touch people. And I was like, oh, Shatter Me, oh, into my cart. Yeah, getting it. So I put it in my cart and I indeed bought it. And it says, there was and there was not. As all stories begin, a princess cursed to be poisonous to the touch. So, yeah. No. Up my alley, I dare say. Next up, I got Illuminae. The first book in the Illuminae trilogy. It's Illuminae Files 01. So, yeah. Um, I'm really very, very late to the party. Uh, again, unsure of when this came out, but I know it was a while ago. Uh, and I also know everyone loved it. This was... 2015, not even that long ago. So this was written in 2015. It's thick, it has images, it is awesome. It looks awesome. I have not read it yet, but I'm really excited about this one. Next up, we got Lore by Alexander Brecken. <laughs> um, yeah, we also all know about this one. This is a new release. I hardly, I hardly buy uh, like new release. Like I, I pre-ordered this. All right, I pre-ordered this, um, which I hardly do. And <laughs> this is interesting. It's not necessarily a book that is like something I typically read, but it is something that when I read, like heard about it and I read the premise, I was really intrigued by, hence why I pre-ordered it. So this is about, I don't know what it's called again, but like there's this thing in the, the, the world of gods where something happens and it means that like a few gods have to live among humans and then all humans want to like kill the gods because they did like horrible things to like family members or whatever and I think the main character wants revenge on the god that killed her family so apparently it's a wild ass ride and I'm here for it so Greek mythology 
let's get it started boys <laughs> next up i got the midnight light by marie Rutowski. um this was also in the clearance section i love the winter's prime so i got this because i've never read anything other um anything else by marie Rutowski. so yeah the cover is really beautiful i have no clue what this is about by the way i literally just bought this because it was marie Rutowski. and i like i read the synopsis obviously like i do before i buy a book but i did not retain the information i did not i'll try to link like the goodies page for every book in order in the description so if you see something that like piques your interest you can go and check it out because i think i've told you like four synopsis out of the 40 books I'm a bad booktuber, what can I say? <laughs> then I got this one, These Violent Delights, again. But this one is by Micah Nemerever? Nem Nem Nemerever. Micah Nemerever. I'm just gonna go with it, roll with it. This is a thriller. I love thrillers. Excited. Yes. Murder. All that stuff. It's unsettling and enchanting. That's how it was described. Unsettling. Hello? me so yeah this is like a thriller set in i think this thriller is set in like 1960s i think let me check that it's set in 1970s so it's described as a hitchcockian tale of two college students both with troubled past who whose escalating obsession with each other will radically alter the course of their lives this gives me big ID vibes, like the TV channel, Investigation Discovery. I religiously watch that channel, like obsessed is putting it lightly. So like these people being obsessed with each other and like murdering each other, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Seems kind of interesting to me. So I'm really excited about this one as well. I hope I love it because I need to read more thrillers this year. Like thrillers, I love thrillers and like horror, but it's something I stray away from because I love it when it's done well, but I'm also so picky about what, what I like in a thriller or a horror book. So yeah, I got this one. Okay, last two, final two guys. Well, technically it's four, but yeah. I got this series, Duology, I got this Duology. It's A Vow of Thieves and A Dance of Thieves. And I think this is the first one. I'm not completely sure. I think this is the first one, but it's, um, <laughs> guess, please, please guess. Guess, three, two, one, it's a royalty story. Wow, surprise. No one would have guessed that at all. Um, yeah, it's a royalty story set in the Kingdom of the Remnant, so. Excited as frick, dude. Super excited about this. Um, so excited that I indeed got the duology because I expect great things from this. Very excited, very excited. And then last, but definitely not least, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this in order as I got it. I got the Silvered Serpents. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like, the author sounds familiar, but I have no idea who that is. And I don't know, the book sounds cool. I guess I'll buy it. And then I watched, um, uh, like, a book haul or, like, a book review or, like, a something, something. I don't remember. I think I watched the book haul. And someone was like, yeah, I got the Silver Serpents, which is, like, the second book in um, the Guild of Wolves chrono chronology, trilogy, whatever, how many books are in that. And I was like... Did you, did you just say the second? So I bought the sequel just to a book that I hadn't read. So I also got The Guild of Wolves. The Guild of Wolves was on my TBR, my wish list, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just didn't know that this was the sequel. So now I have both and I'm really excited to finally read uh, The Guild of Wolves. Yeah, it's been on my uh, TBR wish list for a while, so. Here we are, the end. Oh my God, are y'all still alive? Is Are any of you even still with me? Um, if you are, hi, thank you very much for being here. Um, 
like I said somewhere in the middle of this video, I'll try to leave all the Goodreads pages in the description. I don't even know if that will fit, like, with the amount of characters I'm getting, but whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. That's it. Oh my god. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you got, like, maybe a few cool recommendations out of this, or, like, something that just piqued your interest. <laughs> But if not, then I want to thank you even more for sticking around because it means the world to me. So thank you so, so much for watching my video today. And um, yeah, I will uh, get on to editing, the, ed editing this. It's late, but I have to get it up tomorrow morning. Yes, procrastination. <sighs> Why am I like this? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching once again, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great, great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in this world. Stay hydrated. I love you. Goodbye, guys. We're done with this video that's probably an hour long. Oh my god. Thank you. Bye.